Hey guys, so today I have my March favorites, which is really crazy to say. I seriously can't believe we're already at the end of March. Tomorrow is April 1st, which you would think today was April 1st, just because it snowed this morning and it was like the winter wonderland all over again. But <laughs> thankfully it's just now gone already actually. Um, there's only like a tiny bit left, so that is good. I was like about ready to cry when I saw the snow. <laughs> but it's supposed to be spring, not winter. But that's Michigan for you, so yeah. Anyways, so, so let's just jump into the favorites before I keep blabbing. Again, I'm tired, so yeah. My mind is like all over the place. I'm drinking my iced tea that I just made. I finally made a whole pitcher of iced tea because I've just been obsessed with iced tea. Like every day, I'm just like, I need iced tea. I need iced tea. Yeah. So. But that's pregnancy for you. So. Alright. First of all, for eyes, um, like I used in my last Get Ready With Me, um, the Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Brulee. This makes just a really great base put all over the lid and then blend any other shadows over it like into the crease or anything so yeah and these are like 99 cents so great deal great shadow love it um, and then for my main mascara I've been loving my um, L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intenza like I, you also saw in the Get Ready With Me if you watched it um, so yeah I really like this mascara I do use a little bit of my Maybelline um, Lash Sensational over it, um, kind of as a last step and also to do my bottom lashes, but I do really like this and I have been liking it better since it's dried out just a little bit, so yeah, I really like it. Then like I recently posted about on Instagram, I've been really loving this primer, the Murad Skin Perfecting Matte Finish Primer. Um, this actually has quite a bit of color to it. Um, it actually looks pretty dark, like darker than, it looks darker than my foundation um, when you pump it out. But it's so sheer because it's just a primer that once you put it on it just kind of blends into the skin and just kind of brightens and mattifies, evens out the skin tone just a little bit, um, but a little bit more than like um, Miracle Skin Transformer. This is a lot less color to it. Um, but yeah, I really love this. Um, helps my foundation last really well. And this combo, I just absolutely loved. I'm not wearing it today. Today I'm wearing my L'Oreal Pro Matte just because I'm probably going to start self tanning and then I won't be able to wear that anymore unless I get a new darker color. Um, but yeah. Sadly, I do think this was discontinued even before I got mine like several months ago, but you might be able to find it still on Amazon. That's where I got mine. Um, it is a little pricey. It's like $35, I think, but it is a really great primer. And then I loved over it um, doing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. And mine is in 120 Classic Ivory. Um, I might be able to pull this off even with self tanning, not sure yet, because it is a tad dark, but um, if not, I can always pick up another shade, because this one is like really cheap, so I don't mind getting another one of this one. But yeah, I love this combo, it's just super lightweight and amazing, lasts all day. It's just fabulous, and I like that it feels lightweight and looks natural. Then I recently ordered on QVC this um, Tarte. Colored Clay Bronzer Blush in Rose Bronze. Um, they had Easy Pay on anything, so I went ahead and ordered it. And they also recently lowered their shipping on QVC. So if you order something small, it's not like you have to pay like five, six dollars in shipping like it used to be. Now it's three dollars. Um, it's just a beautiful. Um, as you can see, there's like different the bronzer colors and the blush, which is why it's called Bronzer Blush. So essentially you can use this as kind of a two-in-one product and it does have a slight sheen to it so it's not totally matte which usually I prefer totally matte but it's not bad 
like it didn't make me look overly greasy or anything I am wearing it today as my bronzer but I did add some more blush um, but yeah and it does it did on QVC it did come with this brush it does feel a little bit cheap it's not like the most it's not super dense or anything and the handle feels you know kind of cheap but anyway but it does work pretty well actually um like I'll take this and kind of emphasize it and I'll kind of focus it more on the bronzer part right here and then still I'll put it right in the cheek right there and then kind of turn it this way after I swirl it in all the colors and I did wear this by itself one day and I did um really like it but I do prefer to add a little bit more blush because I just like my blush to be more visible but yeah the blush is pretty soft it's not like a obvious blush but I mean it's meant to kind of look natural and be kind of a two-in-one kind of product my phone keeps going off sorry um but yeah it is really pretty and I like it and I got it to be kind of one of those faster products especially having a baby on the way I'm not gonna have a ton of time in the morning so um yeah it's pretty and it works and I like Tarte because they do have more natural ingredients. Um, yeah, like no parabens or anything. So, did like that. And then for blush, I've just been absolutely loving, loving this blush. It's the Clinique's Cheek Pop in Plum Pop. This is the only one I have at the moment. I do want to get um, Ginger Pop. It looks like it'd be a nice everyday kind of color. This one my mom sent me last year for my birthday. Um, so yeah, I've had it like just about a year. And, but I've worn it more this month than over like the last several months. Um, I've just been obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect spring blush. It just goes on, has like the perfect finish. It doesn't look too powdery. It's just a beautiful color for spring and it's just perfection plus it's just adorable with that little flower so yeah love these um they are coming out with a whole bunch more colors in these but the, right now they're only available on sephora and only for vib rouge members which really stinks i'm not rouge don't have the money to go there um if you are fantastic but um yeah, so I don't know how long that'll be. Hopefully they'll be available really soon for everybody else. Like hopefully before the VIB sale because this is probably the last time that I'll actually be VIB. <laughs> so yeah, um, love it. And I really wanna get more now because they're just the perfect blush. Okay, like I said, I'm tired. Okay, and then for my nails this month, I've been loving my Formula X polish in Gemini. Um, it's just a really pretty kind of purpley pink. I think it's perfect for spring. Um, I keep reaching for this um, over my other polishes just because it goes on so smooth, opaque and low coat, dries really fast. This is like the only polish that I don't end up messing up because it takes too long to dry. Um, yeah, so the Formula X polishes are fantastic for that. They are a little bit pricey, so I try to wait till I have a discount, which is why I only have two colors. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I really do wanna get another color of these because they're just fantastic polish. And like, especially again, having baby on the way, I'm gonna need some fast drying polish. So um, yeah, I do love that. This time it chipped a lot faster and I think that's because I used a different base coat. This works really, really well with the uh, Formula X base coat. So yeah, I do also like that. 
This time I used a different one. I had the Beauty Secrets one from Sally's, but it didn't work as well. So yeah, I would recommend that combo. The Formula X base coat and polish. But I should add, um, the only ones I really, really love are the totally, um, like, cream opaque colors. The shimmery ones tend to chip, like, really fast. So, yeah, I would stick with those. And then, recently, um, sometime around my birthday at Ulta, my um, husband gave me some money for my birthday, and I was there, and the body shop was two for 27 on their body butters which I really needed more body butter, so I decided to go ahead and pick up two. Um, I really couldn't decide on the scents. I was having a hard time. I didn't want anything too strong or overpowering. Um, the one fruity one I know I love is the strawberry, but they didn't have any more left. So I ended up going with um, the Japanese cherry blossom and just the vitamin E one. So they both have just a really light scent, um, but it's really nice. And these are super moisturizing. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. So hopefully this will last me a while, but yeah. So I've been loving my body butters. Um, I'm still using my Burt's Bees belly butter for the belly. And that's almost gone, but I do have another um, belly butter on the way um, that I got on Zulily. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for my favorites. Um, yeah, this month just went by really fast. I only got like two videos up since my last favorites. But yeah, this past week was just crazy, um, which I'll explain more in my next pregnancy vlog coming up soon. Um, I was having some computer issues too, so even if I could have filmed, I wouldn't have had a way to get it up. So um, yeah, so that's it for my favorites. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye guys. And then, um, then like I recently posted about, about 